so excited because today on Aura Healthy, we have got the Kim Kardashian butt workout. You might have done one before, but this is the one that you guys want to do. This is the updated version with extra additional moves that's going to get you the perfect booty. So we're going to come down to the ground. We're going to start kind of similar to the other one, but it's going to get even better. So squeeze on your back, okay? And your arms just want to be kind of down to the side and your feet about hip distance, distance apart and you, we're just going to bring the pelvis up to the sky. We're going to make sure that we're tucked under the whole time and then we're going to squeeze up and down. But what we're not going to do is we're not going to touch the butt onto the ground, okay? So it's just going to be like an inch or two up and then we're going to squeeze. When we get to the top, I want you to tuck those hips underneath even more and then come down. So the whole time we are tucked underneath. So let's just do a little demonstration here. So when you come down, I want you guys to all pull your hips underneath and then squeeze up. And you want to hold it like this the whole way through because this is what's going to make the difference between how your butt feels. Okay, so keep going, squeezing up and down. We're just going to be warming up. And if you haven't done our warm-up video first, it's a great idea to do. Just get some stretches in. It's going to help with your recovery as well. So squeeze up and down. Whew. Okay, I'm so ready guys to feel the burn. I really want you guys to get incredible results and you've just got to stay with the program. Just keep working day by day. You're just going to get slightly closer towards your goal and everything is about consistency. So let's just do a few more squeeze up and down. Make sure that pelvis is tucked underneath and squeeze. Okay, now we are going to hold it at the top. So just hold it here. Make sure that your arms are like underneath and you've got nicer support and your hips are really tucked underneath, okay? So what that means is you kind of want to like feel like you're scooping and then you're going to push the pelvis up to the sky. So right now it should actually be a little bit on fire, okay? That's good. If you can feel it, good. If not, I want you to tuck even more underneath. Now what we're going to do is just to add a little bit more fire and spice is we are going to bring our knees close and touch into each other, okay? So this is when you're going to start to feel the outside of those glutes are going to start to work, okay? You're going to start to see the shelf butt happening. So everything you need to make sure that you are tucked underneath. So push that pelvis a little bit higher up to the sky. And for a modified version, okay, you can come slightly lower down, but you still need to make sure that that hips are tucked underneath. And if you need to take a two second break, just come down and then spring right up again. So it's this repetition, this slow little motion, this small movement that's going to come in and out, that's going to really start to build that muscle up. But you've got to keep working at it. You've got to work to create that muscle, okay? It doesn't just happen by itself. So let's just do a few more, okay? And then we're going to hold it at the top. So squeeze those knees together and we're just going to hold. Now the most important thing guys is if you are trying to gain muscle in your butt is you've got to eat more, but you've got to eat more of the right food. So our nutrition plan has got everything that you need to be able to increase muscle mass, burn fat, increase your energy and feel amazing. So make sure you do check out the nutrition page. So squeeze up here. I just want you to hold it here for another 10 seconds. So 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, two, one, and release. And your butt should be on fire. And if it's not, you've got to stop this video again and make sure that you're really tucked underneath. So the next exercise, we're going to come up and you're going to grab a weight. You can grab one or two. Okay, I'm just going to demonstrate with here. And all you're going to do is we're just going to squat up and down with the weight in our hand. So you're just going to come down and then squeeze. Oh, you can start to feel it now from where you're actually really burning those, those uh, glute muscles from the bridge raises up and down. So really important that you want to sit down. So sit down, try and wiggle those toes, and then as you come up to the top, you're just going to squeeze those glutes together. Whew, that's it. Just nice big breathing in and out. Whew, you're feeling good, guys. Just think, what is it that you want your body to look like? And then each single movement that you do is going to get you slightly closer towards your goal. And when you just keep being consistent with something, it's definitely going to happen. So keep squeezing up and down. Whew, do not quit on me. You gotta finish this workout. It's gonna be over, it's only a 10 minute workout. It's nothing. You can go all the way to the end. So let's try and get a little bit lower if you can. Squeeze and down. <sighs> try and keep that chest up. Now come down for me, wiggle those toes, come back up and then squeeze those glutes together. <sighs> That's it, keep it going. We're gonna move on to the next exercise but we just gotta finish out these squats first. Try and get a little bit lower. <sighs> Keeping that chest up. And three, smile, two, and one. Okay, great job. Now taking that same weight, you're gonna go out to the side and you're gonna lift your leg up and the weight up. 
Okay, so you just need to extend the leg and the arm at the same time. So you're just really using that right glute to lift up. And what the weight is doing is it's increasing a little bit of resistance just to put some weight onto that glute muscle, which is gonna help build the lean muscle. So you're just extending that leg out to the back. And breathe. Come on guys, you've got this. Really make sure that you're using that glute muscle to lift up. One more on this side and let's switch over to the other side. So up we go. Try and keep that chest up, but we really wanna kind of elongate that body. So stretching out. You wanna try and put that weight like down towards the ground. So you're kind of like a pendulum. So you're using the weight and the resistance, okay, to maximize the work that you're doing in those glutes. That's it, keep it going. Good job. Squeeze in and out. Okay, a few more on this side. And then we are gonna go into our extra exercise. It's gonna get you burning and feeling amazing. So pick up another weight if you have one there, okay? And what you're gonna do is you're gonna come down to the ground, you're gonna squeeze up and down. So you really just wanna think about your front leg that's extending. Okay, that back leg isn't doing that much, but your front leg is the one that's extending up and down. Now I'm using five pounds just to demonstrate, but you guys wanna kind of use about 10 pounds to really put on some lean muscle. Okay, so three, two, one. Are you ready for the extra burn move? You're gonna put those weights in front and you're gonna squeeze in and out. Get nice and low. Lift that chest up and bring that knee in and out. Keep it going. Get nice and low in that leg, in that supporting leg. For three, two, one. Now switch over to the other side straight away. Squeeze up and down. That's it. Just remember, it's that front leg that's moving. All your weight wants to be in that supporting heel. Okay, so that front heel is hardly any weight in the back. So you're squeezing up and down. This is the extra, extra burn move that I absolutely love. Get nice and low, get even lower for me, and then squeeze those glutes as you get to the top. That front leg wants to be straight. Just do two more and squeeze. Okay, bring it here, and your leg goes in and out. That's it, just nice and fast. Getting down into that supporting leg. I've hardly got any weight, okay? My hands on those weights in front. So just keep bringing those legs in and out. And five, four, three, two, one. Okay, bring those weights up together. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna have your feet, your hip distance apart, and you're gonna come down, and then you're gonna squeeze. So this is the extra movements, guys. These are the ones that's really gonna change how your body looks, and when we're actually working those hamstrings, it's gonna help increase that butt size. So come down, and then squeeze. So let's just have a look at how that goes. So our back is nice and straight. We come down, okay? Slight bend in the knees, and then we squeeze, and we tuck those hips underneath. So let's go down again. Now if you can't feel this, that's when you wanna increase your, your weight. So if you can't feel anything, it's time that you start to challenge yourself a little bit more. So squeeze in and out. Let's go down all the way. And then bring it up together. Squeeze down. Keep that back nice and straight. Squeeze and then those, tuck those hips underneath right at the end. Let's just do a few more. And you don't have to use weights at all. If you're just starting out and you just want to practice and see how it feels, you can drop those weights down. So squeeze in. And let's do one more, all the way down. Good job, and squeeze. Okay, last set of exercises. You're gonna come down to the ground, and we're gonna do mountain climbers, but we're gonna bring the leg across. So you're gonna come up here, and you're gonna twist the top, okay? So that's all you're doing, it's just nice and slow, and you're squeezing those glutes. So you come here, squeeze those glutes together, across, and squeeze. Breathe in and out for me, guys. Really important here. That's it, you've got this. Just keep twisting that body. You're gonna be working those obliques too, working those abs, and then I want you to squeeze those glutes when you get to the middle. <sighs> Breathe in and out. Come on, guys, you've got this. Keep going and squeeze. <sighs> Three, two, one. Okay, we're gonna go back to where we first started because I'm gonna give you the total burnout, which is gonna make the difference. One more minute of exercise to go. 
back on that back, squeeze those hips underneath, and let's go straight up. So we are back where we started. Do you remember the burn that you felt at the beginning? Amazing, you're gonna feel it even quicker. So let's breathe. Good job. Just take it nice and slow. And all the way up to the top. Now try and bring those legs in a little bit closer, and we're gonna squeeze. We have got less than 30 seconds to go. So I really want you to make this the best 30 seconds you've got. So hold it up the top and let's squeeze the knees in. Oh guys, you're looking so awesome. Just keep up the good work. It's gonna make all the difference. Keep squeezing those glutes, tuck those hips underneath and then breathe. And then hold those legs together. Squeeze for the final 10. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, release those legs. Give them a little bit of a wibble and then gently come up to standing. Make sure you really stretch out those glutes and you make sure you get your post recovery because that's what's gonna really make the difference to your glutes. Check out our nutrition page at ariahealthy.com and make sure you subscribe to the channel. Come here, I need you. It's like, it's too hot. <laughs> I'm not being in any videos today. Okay. You're like, oh, what is this? Spider web. I kept walking in the spider web. <laughs> I just walked in one too. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> like, where am I?